Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a content Friday on FC24 and maybe one of the last of the year. But we know the drill. Fridays recently have been hype days for content, back to footies, into preseason. Now every Friday has been a banging day and our expectations are rising for that today. We've got big SBCs hopefully coming like maybe that big time great to the game Icon R9 and also more FC25 rewards that we will be able to grind to in the game right now. So so we're going to look at all of that, but the biggest question I have is, will EA hold anything back? Specifically talking about the players that are in packs. EA, we need more to be released today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's look at yesterday's content really quick before we get into all the details that today will bring. Firstly, we had a 99 rated transfer player SBC. I'll start off by saying this. I like what EA is doing here. It's a big transfer. Delict, Manchester United. It's a 99 rated card. The stats individually, 96 pace, 99 defending and physical, look amazing. Four star, five star, medium high. This card looks great until you look at the play styles. He does not have jockey, intercept, or anticipate. Three crucial play styles for a defender. Instead, they gave him slide tackle, block, long ball, and quick step plus, along with technical power shot, power header, and pinged pass and bruiser. I mean, yes, he does have the center defensive mid position on the card. It almost feels like he's meant to be played at a CDM position, even though you really would want intercept or anticipate and maybe even another passing play style if you're playing this card as a center defensive mid. So I feel like I'm being a little bit picky here and maybe a lot of us are as well. For the meta of the game, this card may not be the best, but honestly, at this late stage, who cares? It is a fun 99 rated Delict card. Honestly, though, that 96 rated is probably more meta, even though he's got minus 10 pace. Like, this is still a fun card because it's a 99 rated transfer player for a big club. We've had now um, the Arsenal team transfers shown here recently. We have a Manchester United Delict. We have more Manchester United coming like Xerxes. There's still a long list of players that we hope to see, but the transfer SPCs have been getting better. So again, you could look at this and say also it's too expensive, but everything right now is free, of course, as we know it with the 84 and 85 10s, 12 squads, a little bit annoying, but worth doing. If you're chasing a 99 rated squad like I am, like I'm going to be doing this SBC just because it allows us to get that 99 rated squad a whole lot easier. And if you're trying to collect that. Now let's go to objectives where another 99 is available, but this isn't a new 99. This is 99 rated DePaul inside of the preseason champions play objective. I do not have this card. He was one of the more difficult Copa America path to glory cards to obtain during the promos, even though I think he was re-released in packs at one point. Later on, this card has always been tough to pack. 5 5, 9 9 rated. What an insane card. And he is now available for free in the objective section if you play with footies cards in Champs Finals, which is very easy to do, of course, with all the cards we have out that are high rated from the footies promo. And of course, you do have to use seven of them in your weekend league team and win 10 games, of course, with playing 20 to complete this objective. Inside of the objective as well, you also get 98 JZ Jarzinho. So, I don't hate this one. I think it's nice. This is one of the diff more difficult, as I mentioned, 99s to get. And even though we're at the end of August, take a look at this price graph because anytime a card gets released in packs or in objectives, he goes down, right? 2 million coins for this DePaul card. Since he's been one of the most difficult cards to get, he has dropped all the way down to 1.4, 1.5 million coins. Big price drop off there. He's probably going to keep dropping. We're going to have more of those type of movements today if EA do what we hope that they do. So that was content yesterday. Not a really crazy day, but it was nice to have the Delict. That was cool. And of course, the DePaul, that is decent as well. Now, usually at this point in the video, we look at my club and my squad and we show you a nice, insane card that we've packed in the last day. Yesterday, my pack weight was really nowhere to be found. 84, 85 times 10s, 95 plus picks were not cooking at all. No new additions to the squad. Today, we chase more of them. I did get 99 West Fodderingham, and we did make more progress on the Eusebio SBC. So it wasn't a day of nothing. But uh, no new cards added to the team. No insane pack pulls to discuss. We are still chasing 99 Neymar, 99 Puteus, Pele. Of course, the Dino, the R9, the Zidane. Those are the types of cards that I'm still chasing. All the other 99s like 
basically, besides Frimpong, Messi, and Ronaldo that I haven't got yet, we're still chasing those. I know a lot of you guys are too, and that should continue today. Let's talk about today. Let's get into the information. What are we expecting today? And let's start with SBCs, because that's where the hype is for real. This preseason week two technically is what this is going to be called, I think. Remember last Friday? I wasn't actually here for it. I was still on vacation. But if you remember what was dropped last Friday, it was a banger of a day. It was 99 Pele, and they also dropped the Juliana Alvarez. So today, I would expect the same thing, an icon SBC and a transfer player SBC. Now, who's our icon SBC going to be? Well, there's one name that really continues to stick out for me, and that's got to be R9. That's my guess, guys. I mean, if they drop anything other than R9 today, then there better be a crazy other transfer SBC alongside of it to take the hype because, man, like R9 today, with whoever else is a transfer player, would be the one. Like, that's the SBC that we really want. Maybe a 99 Mbappe would be the second most SBC that we want, but that R9 would be amazing, and he's one of the last greats of the game icons that we want to see. Again, I think this is going to be a 27 to 30 squad SBC, like we mentioned yesterday. It's probably going to be a bit grindy to craft, but it is the most difficult card to pack in the endgame re-release right now. Maybe apart from 99 Cristiano, who I was lucky enough to pack, but I know a lot of you guys are chasing him still after I tweeted out yesterday asking who you guys are still chasing in the game at the moment. But this card would be a marquee endgame SBC that a lot of us would want. Now, we speak of transfer SBCs, though. Like we mentioned, we had Alvarez last Friday, too. We've been having a lot more of them recently. I think EA is going to continue up with that today. Now, there's one thing I do want to mention with a few of these cards. Like, think about the transfers that they've been releasing. Caliafiori, Delict, uh... You know, you've got the Alvarez. A lot of these transfers were earlier or at least not super recent in the window. Like even for a Spurs fan like me, we're in the Spurs top today. Is it really likely that we get a Solanke? That might still be too recent for them to put in the game right away. I would love to be wrong, but it, maybe it's a little bit too recent. I forget the timing of Delix transfer, but I think it was a little bit of a while ago. Maybe names like Odlise or Savio for Manchester City or maybe Renato Sanchez. They just added his card in the game along with Calafiores and some of the other players who have just recently got transfer SBCs. Maybe a 99 rated Renato Sanchez Benfica card could be coming today because this last card was the 94 rated, which was a really crazy SBC. That was an amazing card. So maybe he gets a transfer card today. I'm just trying to shout out and kind of set the expectation for who the transfer player might be it might not be somebody who is just transferred like coop miners literally just transferred probably not going to be a transfer sbc for him straight away that's one thing i do want to mention but of course when it comes to these cards here for sbcs we're looking for the 98s or the 99s that's why we liked the delict even though the play styles aren't good the stats are there is a 99 so we'll be watching out for that today as well remember an icon sbc hopefully and a transfer SBC as well. Last thing in terms of SBC upgrade packs will go to the 92 plus is going away. Probably going to refresh today in some way, shape, or form. I know we have the 95 plus that is re-releasing every single day. The only thing that I could see happening is maybe they don't refresh this because they're going to make the 95 plus pick like unlimited repeatable when it comes back around and refreshes on Tuesday. That would be the only thing that would seem a letdown that would actually be explained by this SBC. But hopefully the 92 plus pick does get refreshed because it's actually still a good player pick to be grinding for those 99 cards specifically that are not in the re-release like VVD and honestly like DePaul was until he's now in the objective section. So that's when SBC we have our eyes on today. And now let's turn into the FC 25 type content maybe you guys have been doing the crafting upgrade maybe not but today is actually a pretty big day for fc25 rewards because this sbc will refresh which means we should be able to do it 75 more times if you guys did all 75 the first time around you know you're waiting to do the next refresh of this so that you can actually complete the objective this is the part that we were a little bit frustrated by last week by EA kind of time gating this grind because they're requiring us to complete 100 of these to complete the objective and of course we only were able to do 75 until the SBC refreshes which that is today so do 25 more of these you'll have the objective done and I'm assuming the crafting objective or SBC rather is still going to be there that we'll be able to complete past 100 times it'll be there for another 75 today hopefully 
um, EA do that, but that should be able to be completed today. And you get some nice packs here, 85, 10, 87, four and an 83, 20. And then the Lucy bronze Chelsea transfer card at the end. Of course, this is getting you an 82 times five in FC 25, which is a really solid pack. So that's actually a pretty big one. A lot of us, myself included, have been waiting for this specific FC 25 reward to be completable. And it will be today. Now, the rest of the FC 25 rewards hopefully should be coming today. Like, hopefully. If EA hold back some of this stuff, it's going to be really annoying. There's two things we're looking for today, guys. Firstly, another objective, the For the Club 2 objective. Of course, right now we have the For the, one, for the Club 1 objective, which is basically, you know, scoring in three separate matches with four different players from a league. You can mix and match and have four players from Serie A in League 1. You can have four players from Bundesliga, La Liga, and you get it, get it done a little bit quicker that way. Just do it in squad battles. It's really easy to do. But we even know what the objective is going to give us. It's going to give us an 82 times 10 in FC25 for the new one today, that is, and a base icon player pick. So this For the Club Objective 2 is maybe even a little bit better than the For the Club 1 because it gives you an 82 10 instead of an 80 times 10. So this one is one to watch for today i really hope that we get that one along with the road to the fc25 evolution we have not seen this one yet i think i'm the most curious for an evo because what is ea going to require us to do in evolutions to give us an 81 times 7 in fc25 you think about it that the objectives that we just looked at they require you to play like what score or win three games with four players from a certain league so it's like three times five so like 15 games if you don't combine the objectives at all i mean hopefully an evo doesn't require that many games like they've been pretty nice with the evos recently it's been like you know play two win three play three type of thing so it's like nine or ten games in total maybe if you have to play a couple extra to get some wins in or whatever it may be most of them are completable in squad battles though so hopefully it's not too hard to get this road to fc 25 evo completed whatever it is today and hopefully it's a fun one that we actually will enjoy doing. I'm really curious to see what it's going to be, what kind of stuff EA could come up here with, but really we're here for doing this evolution to get the FC 25 rewards. So that is all the content that we're looking related to FC 25, because those are the only two things that we could have. If EA don't release and if they hold back one of those things, it's going to be really, really annoying. It's basically September now. Just do it, EA. Release all the stuff. And we had the same feeling with what is hopefully going to be coming into packs today. This is one of the biggest things for sure, because a lot of you guys, myself included, have been chasing the 99 rated, and some of you guys have achieved all the cards that you want to pack. Maybe it's 99 Messi that you've got. Maybe it's 99 Puteas. Maybe it's whatever. You know, you've packed all the 99s that you want, and now you're like, man, EA, give me more 99s to pack. What we're hoping for today is EA to add more footies to packs especially teams four and five you remember last week on friday the in-game message announcing the promo said that it was the batch three from the footies team three of that release was going to stay in packs and then they were going to add footies teams one two and three in with it and that's what we have in packs right now well on the website it says here that ea uh, it's going to feature different re-releases for the opportunity to add some of the season's best to your ultimate team club. So it's going to feature different re-releases. Now, when you look on the loading screen, you might be like, Nate, it says that this re-release is going to be out for like 20 more days. Yes, that is the confusing part. And even here it says preseason re-release team one. Hopefully today we get team two, which keeps all of the same players in packs, except it just adds footies team four through five if they take out ronaldo puteas some of those team one through three footies players we are going to be upset because a lot of us are still myself included chasing after those 99s and going after those players so the hope is that ea add in footies team four and five players like salah sun sawa drug but team five was cracked right team four i'm sorry this is team four team five had uh the beckham 99 had the conte the lucio the Carchao team five was pretty cracked too so we hope that they add these in packs and then don't take anything out if ea do anything else that other than that then i think we're going to be a little bit disappointed and again like why hold back because it is basically september now so that's a little bit confusing and we're a little unsure how it's going to work today but 
fingers crossed we have 99 Salah and those other footies cards in packs and of course if you have any of those for some reason in your team if you're trying any of them out like tradable or something like Salah has been six seven million coins he is gonna tank today Sun has been Sun actually went from like two point something million 2.3 million all the way to 3 million Beckham was one five he's now just over 2 million coins like sell those if you have any of them Carlos Alberto is going to drop a lot because he's way more packable than a lot of the other cards Conte drug the same thing so if you have any of these I would sell them because there's a chance a high chance in my opinion that they come back into packs to Day. So that's kind of the update for content that we're expecting today, guys. Hopefully, it's a day of more cards and packs, good SBCs to craft. Of course, the continuation of the 84 and 85 times 10s. And then tomorrow on Saturday, we will actually hope for the unlimited 85 times 10. That's what we will be hoping for. But let's end the video off with some FC25 news as we have been doing just about every single day. This is the biggest news from yesterday. Actually, there's two things. First of all, Gareth Bale is definitely by far the best icon that is coming to FC 25 this year. This card looks unbelievable. And then you add on top of that, the fact that he's going to have four different alternate positions or four positions in total, right wing, right mid, left wing, and striker, 95 pace, rapid plus. This card looks unreal. He is going to be super expensive. The only downside is, of course, the weak foot's going to be three star, four star skills for that bail card looks unreal now this is the leak that i want to take a look at these were official car designs leaked yesterday for road to the knockouts and of course yesterday was a big day for champions league today we have the europa league and the conference league draw as of course the new champions league format i think it also is happening in europa league as well but it's really confusing and a lot of people are trying to wrap their minds around it and it's actually it's going to impact road to the knockouts and maybe road to the final later on this year as well but with these car designs added to the code for fifa fc purpose is it looks like it might be the first promo of the year again if you guys remember last year we didn't have ones to watch our first promo of the year was road to the knockouts with live cards straight away so maybe that could be happening again this year as well if these car designs are already being leaked of course we've had a lot of other car designs that we have talked about and looked at but that's just a hunch that i have i still think that somehow ea is going to put the heroes in packs i don't know how they're going to do it uh, but I feel like these cards are going to be in packs somehow, even though they're supposed to be only for the pre-order stuff. Maybe it's during early access these cards will be in packs. I don't know what it's going to be, but I just have a hunch they're going to do something there. But regardless, this is now probably the front-runner favorite for the first promo of FC25. When the full game releases on the Friday, the 27th of September, we will be maybe getting that Road to the Knockouts promo. So that's kind of the news there. Of course, there's not really many more leaks that are being posted. Honestly, it's we're in a weird limbo period where it's like we would love to look at the database but really all we have right now is an app with all of the uh, ratings the leaked ratings we don't have an easy place to like build squads and that's what we're really looking for next I don't know how soon that's going to come on any sort of platform. I know we just quick sold a lot, but it was to open one more 8410, and these go crazy at the end of videos. Crony Cruz with a road to the final card. Speaking of Champions League, speaking of road to the whatevers, and Pierre Emerick bombing. Is there anything else hiding behind this? Maybe a footies. Maybe just maybe. Yeah, not this time. So more fodder there. We're going to have more fodder today, but hopefully we have more 99s to chase and more SBCs to craft. That's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. That link is down below in the description. Catch you guys there. Peace. Out.